Welcome to Wasp Woodworking. On today's episode, we're gonna be building this rack for my ethernet equipment here in the house. And this is a wooden rack, and the rails that we made in the last episode that are in here um, was the first part, so now we're gonna be making this. And then the next episode, we're gonna be um, installing it and building a couple uh, additional units here for holding on to some of the special injectors. So I hope you enjoy watching how we make this uh, unit. For this project I'm using half inch thick plywood. This is a nice uh, Baltic birch plywood so it's uh, very flat, very smooth, there's no voids. It's uh, great to work with. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting all the strips five and a half inches wide and that will be the uh, depth of the network box as I put it in the wall. So that'll cover the three and a half inches of the wall plus a half inch of plywood or drywall that you may have and then uh, stick out a little bit in the back. Now it's time to start cutting the frame. This frame is made of strips of this half inch plywood and the strips are one and a half inches wide. And I'm gonna cut them an inch or two uh, wider than the box itself and uh, just stack up uh, four of these over on the side. And uh, looks like I got one more to cut. I'm also gonna end up cutting a few extra strips and these are gonna be for inside the frame, sort of a standoff for the rail, which actually ends up making the ID of the box a little larger. The ID of this box is 20 and a quarter inches by 14 and an eighth. The 14 and eighth allows me to get the eight unit high with an eighth inch or a 16th on the top and bottom. And the 24 allows me to have the 19 inches wide with um, five eighths of an inch on each side. This is a little spacing for working with. I'm going to take each of those five and a quarter, five and a half inch uh, strips and I'm going to square them up on one side and then cut them to length on the other. And I'll continue repeating this until all those pieces are the exact uh, length that I need them to be. And that's going to make up the size of the box. Now it's going to be time to set up the rabbit joint. Um, you could do this with a regular uh, butt joint, but I like making the rabbit joint because it has extra space in there for glue and makes the uh, box a lot stronger. So you can see I'm cutting the depth of them, and once I get that done, now I'm going to slide them vertically through the saw, cutting that little piece out. You may be able to see that fly back uh, into me as I'm cutting these. And uh, this is the third one, flip it over to do the fourth, and now they're ready to put together. You can see me checking the joint just to make sure that it fits well. And in this case, I like it. So I'm gonna move on and put them together just to see that they all match up. You really want these things to be flush on the outside, but in this case, it really doesn't matter because the frame is going to hide that and you'll never see it. But if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. In this case, it all works out just fine. Now let's cut those frame pieces, I cut a couple extra pieces and I mentioned that those were going to be on the inside and the rails were going to attach to give the network box a little extra width. So I'm taking these and cutting them very precisely to the exact dimension and I'll uh, glue and nail those to the sideboards before I start to assemble everything. So now we're going to assemble the box. I have those standoffs, they're mounted three inches back from the front, which should give enough space for the ethernet cables, because you don't want to snag them with your arm as you're walking by. And I put it all together, gluing it, and then I'm gonna take a brad nailer to fasten all the corners together. The glue will actually hold it together. The brads were really there just to hold it in place while the glue sets up. Also end up taking a square, you can see right there, and uh, tri-square, making sure that the box is nice and square. And it is. I ended up having to get some extra brads as the brad nail was empty, but then it's all complete. Now that the box is put together, I'm gonna work on the frame. I'm using my 
table saw sled with my miter attachment. And this works out well. Um, as you can see, knocking through the joints, this is the fourth one. Each one you alternate left and right, and any error in the way it's set up it all cancels out because you're alternating sides. And before you know it, you got them all finished and it's ready to glue them up. Now for assembling the frame, I start with the top, gluing it in place and using the brads and I start on the sides, only putting a few in case I have to fix them, but once I get the bottom piece glued in, I go back around and finish putting the brads on all the sides and also use it to reinforce the corners. And then it's all complete. So here's the final look before I painted it black and it's all ready to go. Just got to add those rails I made in the last video. And of course, this is the final result for the Ethernet box. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please subscribe today. Take a look at some of the other videos. And I'll see you next time here on Wassel Woodworking. Thanks for watching.